If you have any addressable RGB strips like this one right here, there are many manufacturers of it and there are supposed to be red, green, blue, but sometimes they're not all manufactured the same. So I'm going to show you how you can tell if they are actually RGB or something else. So let's go. Hey, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. I've done some videos on addressable RGB LEDs earlier, and I've done a bunch of other ones on some other strips that aren't RGB and aren't addressable. But we're going to talk about the addressable ones today, the RGB ones. And there are many different manufacturers. There are many different chipsets. TM-1803, 1804, 1809, WS-2811, 2812. A lot of them. Where are we going here? 2812B, APA-102. There are a lot of different chipsets in here. A lot of different configurations. You can get them... 30 per meter, 60 per meter, even 144 per meter. We have Christmas coming up pretty shortly, and if you ever seen those houses that have all those lights everywhere doing a show for you, that's these right here. They're RGB addressable light strips. And a lot of times, the chipset is actually in the SMD LED right there. Sometimes they're in between one per, per LED. Sometimes there's one per three LEDs, depending on how they're manufactured. Now, they're called RGB because that's going all the way back to the beginning of color television and monitors where you had the red, green, and blue dots to make up the gazillion colors on your TV screen and on your monitor. Red, green, blue. But I found out when I was doing a sketch, I was trying to do something, and I'll show you a little bit of the video right here, where I was doing sunrise, and I want to put a sunrise and sunset back here with these addressable RGBs. But it wasn't coming out the right colors. I was supposed to have starting out with red, orange, and yellow for the very early morning, and it was coming out green. Okay, but anyway, let me turn this on. I have, I got it started out, and I tried two different uh, LED strips. And it's and I just have it sitting behind the buildings right now. I don't have it up in the ceiling because I'm I'm still working on. It. I gotta uh, get a different color palette because the color palette that that I'm working on right here says it's supposed to have red, orange, and yellow. That don't look like red, orange, or yellow to me. It's blue. The other LED strip that I had, it came out green through the through the thing. Now I got the the timing and everything here, uh, as far as you know, from early morning to late at night. I could adjust that right now. I have I think I have this set for only ten minutes. So as I'm talking, it'll you know it'll get brighter and brighter and you know and then it'll dim down really fast. I say, what is going on here? And so I tried it again, tried it again, and the same thing. I put another RGB addressable strip on there with a different number on there, and it was coming out different. Instead of getting the red, I was getting blue. I said, what's going on with this? And then I found a sketch while I was looking through the libraries for the fast LEDs I found a sketch in there to calibrate the RGB and I said calibrate the RGB and I was reading up on it and I'll show you it right here the name of the sketch is RGB Calibrate. And as you can see right here, use this sketch to determine what the RGB ordering 
for your chipset should be steps for setting up to use okay and basically what you have to do is uncomment the line in the setup that corresponds to the led chipsets that you're using specify the rgb order as rgb define data pin to the pin the data is connected to optional if using software spi for chipsets that are spi based define clock pin to the clock pin compile upload run the sketch now there are some that have three most of them have three pins some of them have four pins and that's the ones that have the data pin and the clock pin and so you're going to have to specify your data pin and your clock pin on that one you should see six leds on if the rgb ordering is correct you should see one red led two green leds and three blue leds if you see different colors the count of each color tells you what the position of the color is in the rgb ordering should be so for example if you see one blue two red and three green leds then the rgb ordering should be b r g blue red green you can then test this ordering by setting the rgb ordering in the add leds line below to the new ordering and it should come out correctly one red two green and three blue now let me show you what those are right here now you can see in here and i'll just do the fast led add leds ws 2812b which is the one i'm using right now now it specifies the data pin and what i had to do on this one is change it to g r b you can see most of them are r g b r g b all the way up r g b r g b well these colors did not come out right so what i had to do was change it and change it to green red blue once you have this set here you test it again when i first turn this on you're going to see what comes up and it should be red green and blue but you as you can see there's one green two red and three blue so i need to change the order on that now you're going to get colors showing up on your strip they're just going to be the wrong colors they're going to be in the wrong order so that's why you need to calibrate it and change it in your sketch whatever it is okay i'll show you how it is corrected that's what you want to see right there one red two green and three blue whatever sketch you're working on then you know that you need to change it to grb if that's how it comes out and that's how this one came out right here well what i did was i put the light strip back here so it'll be easier to see because up here on the on the desk with all the bright lights you can't really see it so here we go we're starting out with the red and it progressively gets brighter and brighter until it becomes a uh, daylight so that's what it that's what it looks like and if you haven't seen any of my live streams you'll notice whenever I have a super chat I have this going up here this is another LED strip that I have up there that does a simulated strobe in white there are some light strips that are that you could use with Arduino and then there are other ones that have the IR sensor and the remote built in for it so you could uh do it like this these ones right here that have the remote with them you could disconnect it and still program them individually like this but the there are kits that come out that have the remote and the ir sensor is which i have up here to give me my background uh let me turn this up a little bit you can see that I got my background color up here and I could adjust that and that's what this is from this is an RGB light strip that uses this and it also can be used with uh, your phone amp 
there are many different phone apps out there for the different ones there are manufacturers everywhere that make these things you can get them on amazon you can get them on ebay you can get them at walmart you can get it anywhere that you could find leds and probably you're going to find a lot of them because christmas is coming up and there you're going to have them for your outside lighting they come waterproof like this one here which has a plastic coating or a PVC coating over top of it and it comes without the coating on it which is not waterproof uh, the most of the ones that I got are waterproof it's just easier to work with with those if you have to you can just strip the waterproofing off of it it cuts off really easy and as always the links are in the description so until the next time we'll see ya